Hi friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Sub. I am preparing this tutorial to help you and to learn about all about XPath from basic to advanced level and with the like real time scenarios. So the very first question is like what is XPath? What is the imp importance of it in web automation? And then what are the types of XPath? So this is in this uh, tutorial one, we will learn about these basic things. XPath, we all know that the uh, abbreviation XML query it is. Apart from that, what is the like real meaning? Why and what exactly it is like in lay layman terms like if I'm beginner, I'm new someone who doesn't know about at all about XPath, then how will I explain to someone? So XPath is similar like address of any place on the globe, like every place on the earth has its own address. Similarly, on web, every each and every single element has its own address like if you have to click on this if you have to reach to this particular element you need the address that address is basically xpath there are types of different types of selectors those those are also but yes xpath is one of the type of address of these elements every single element has its own address its own xpath so xpath is basically just to un make you understand in real time it is the address of an element of every element here and how we write and all that we will see in the next lecture so hope you understood that this is basically the address in real time and rest it is an xml query you can uh, traverse through dom uh, traverse in dom from like uh, top node to elements and all that we will see then so we got to know that okay xpath is uh, address of an element and there are like different multiple ways to write an xpath types of xpath so that all we will see now what is the importance of xpath in web automation okay so we all know that yes it is an important part of web automation but let me tell you it is as important as the tires of car like if your vehicle doesn't have good tires then your vehicle will not run for long if your vehicle doesn't have good wheels just like in one breaker it might break down similarly like if you will not have the good xpath good selector in your automation script your script will not execute for long it may ex execute once but it may it might break in the next run itself so we will have to make sure that we write the as good as robust xpath and selectors so that it lasts for long now types of xpath there are multiple types uh, people used to define like different ways very simple terms we can say absolute xpath and relative xpath in general there are like xpath only but yes the way we write the xpath accordingly according to that we have categorized it like absolute xpath and relative xpath we will learn more about this in details in next coming lectures then in next tutorial we will learn how to write an xpath thank you